Now to mayhem at the multiplex, at least when it comes to that slate of upcoming movies, Dune Part 2 becoming the latest big budget film delaying its release date as negotiations continue in Hollywood's historic dual strike. ABC's Jacqueline Lee is back with the details. Good morning again, Jacqueline. Hey, Stephanie, good morning again. And the strike has no signs of any anytime soon. And now moviegoers will feel the side effects. We gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! This morning, the highly anticipated Dune Part 2 is the latest big budget movie to be delayed amid the ongoing battle between the studios, writers and actors. The dual strike involving Actors Union SAG-AFTRA and Screenwriters Union Writers Guild of America rippling its way through Hollywood and effectively shutting it down has no end in sight. Warner Brothers announced Dune Part 2, originally said to be released in November, will now have to wait until March of next year, setting a precedent for other studios to follow suit. Godzilla vs. Kong, which was originally scheduled for that date in March, has been pushed back another month until April. So this kind of, the strike is going to have a ripple effect on so many movies as we continue to shift these release dates down the calendar. Oh, it's okay. Other movies like The Color Purple and Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom are slated to premiere in December, with Warner Brothers reportedly considering a delay, but ultimately keeping the December dates. With this threat going on, who knows what could happen? And in terms of Timothy Chalamet movies, Warner Brothers also has Wonka. So will that movie come out on its planned release date? Who's to know? Sony is the only other major movie studio that has delayed several of its movies, including pushing back Craven the Hunter to 2024, in addition to removing the next Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse sequel from their release calendar. Can't take that from me. And now the fate of The Equalizer 3, Wonka and the Marvels in question. But the record-shattering performance of Barbie shows the appetite of moviegoers willing to go to the theaters and open those wallets. And of course, no one knows how long this strike will last, but experts say it ultimately will come down to economics. Now, the question at hand is can studios still effectively release these movies without the stars promoting them? Guys? Jacqueline, thank you so much. Sadly, no end in sight for yeah. that strike. And Wit is going to be broken about Dune, heartbroken about Dune, because he loves that movie. So yeah, we'll yeah. have to wait a little bit like the rest of us. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.